everyone this video is about manual testing roadmap you might have confusion of how to start your career in this testing field so this video will explain you what steps or what are the roadmap that you have to follow to become a good software tester and before you enter into a software testing field these things are kind of mandatory to know so before we begin if you have not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe to the channel let's begin first is manual testing manual testing basic is very much important throughout a software testing you know career manual testing plays on crucial role because the if the base or basic is strong right you will be able to survive little longer for that reason manual testing is very much important if you start learning manual testing right so some of the topics i have mentioned so you can follow that and also one thing you have to keep in mind suppose if you are learning by yourself if you are a self learner so you have lot of youtube videos available and lot of blogs available so you can refer and the thing what you have to do is you have to make a notes of it so the very next time whenever you see it you should be able to recall whatever you have read so for that reason make a notes of everything whatever you are reading so testing basic you have to understand what is software testing and why do we perform software testing so this basic is very much important and principles of software testing if you know there are seven different principles of software testing so you have to know what these principles are next is sdlc and stlc model under sdlc model itself we have different model like v model spiral model incremental model all these model also you should be aware of and what are the difference between each of the model right so that difference should be known for that reason complete sdlc model is required and stlc model which is software testing life cycle model this is also important and uh, most frequently these questions will be asked and the next is different types of software testing like functional and non functional testing under functional testing itself we will have lot of types of testing like unit testing integration testing black box testing white box testing those are the levels of testing but coming to the uh, overall functional testing right so all these you must be aware of and you have to learn each of them regression testing usability testing user acceptance testing all these concepts you have to learn as part of uh types of testing and coming to the non functionality testing compatibility testing performance testing and um, all these uh, recovery testing all these different types of testing also you should know as part of non functional testing next is defect life cycle so defect plays an important role in software testers life if you know right so defect life cycle is also very much important because what status it goes through right that you must be clear of like if you open any defect it will be in a new status and after you know uh, it got assigned to a developer what will be the status and after he fixes it what will be the status all these you must be aware of okay for that reason defect life cycle is important and how do you prepare a test plan a just basic template if you have understood then it is very much uh, you know enough because uh, there there are there are chances like they may ask what is test plan and how do you prepare this test plan all these questions can be asked so for that reason test plan is also one thing that you have to learn and coming to the main thing which is test case writing so test case writing is also very much important because suppose if you uh, you know whenever you sit in front of interviewer right he the chances are more like he ask you to write the test cases itself because to check how your analytical thinking skill is for that reason test case writing is also also very 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 much important so what you can do is you make an excel and then take a website suppose say flipkart or amazon or snapdeal any of the application that you know which is accessible for you and which you know 
and start writing the test cases on that itself. You just perform some of the tests on that and just go ahead and write some test case. So this will help you to understand the test case writing very much better for that reason. Okay. So this is all about manual testing. And the main thing is agile. Agile is must known because right now uh, most of the companies are following agile methodology itself. There were uh, there are even projects which are following waterfall model and uh, you know uh, spiral model all all of that. But major concentration would be on agile itself because lot of project or most of the companies right now are using agile itself. So you have to understand what is agile and uh, what are the uh, you know different terminologies that are used in agile like scrum master who is scrum master and what is sprint what is product backlog what is print backlog uh, who are the team members who are the stakeholders all this information you must know so for that reason agile is also listed under this manual testing concept okay so if you uh, are able to understand all this right so it will take you around 15 days to learn all these basics so learn this and then you have to make a notes of it so daily if you spend like two to three hours working on this you'll definitely be able to complete this in 15 to 20 days okay and moving ahead which is test management tool so all this uh, project will be maintained under one roof for that test management tool is important for that we have jira and hp alm so most of the companies right now are using jira so just go through what is jira and how does it look and what things you can perform on this jira uh, so jira is you know lot of companies uses this jira itself uh, you can you know even log a defect or else you can maintain all your user stories in that you can create an epic all this can be you know um, created under one roof for that this test management tool is important and defect tracking tool logging the bug itself but some of the other if you are using not using jira if you are using some other tools right so at that time uh, some of the projects uses different defect tracking tools like bugzilla or jira uh, mantis or qtest so qtest uh, with qtest we cannot log the defect but the thing is we can link the defect for that particular test case we can link the defect so like this if you know just the basic of what does it do and how do we log a defect it will be very much helpful if you are using jira then definitely uh, with that only you can even track the defect too and going ahead so next topic what you have to learn is the database testing for database testing sql is important so structured query language as the name suggests so for that to learn sql you have to know some basics of what is ddl and what is dml okay and how do you fetch the data from the database how do you select the data and how do you insert the data how do you update and delete so which are the data manipulation language commands itself so uh, just make sure that you know how to perform all these operation on the database and next is joins joins are also very important whenever we have two tables how you know what are the different types of joins that we can perform and how do we perform the joins this is also important uh, and also the sub queries suppose uh, you know query inside the query which is called a sub query okay so that is uh, these are the major things as part of database testing once after you complete all this database testing concepts right if you want to if you feel like you can advance this uh, database testing at that time either you can go ahead with etl testing or big data they are also in the huge demand right now next is api testing so with api testing first you have to understand what is client server architecture how does 
you know request will be sent from client to the server and how does the server response to the client so this basic understanding should be there and next is web services what is web services a basic uh, understanding of uh, web services will suffice and coming to the next topic which is how do you post a request how do you get the data from the database through this api and put request patch delete so all this can be uh, you must know as part of api testing so this basic is very much important and next is response codes so the if you know there are 100 sequence response code 200 sequence and then 300 400 500 like this we have different sequence so in that just uh, understand which are the popular or most commonly occurring response code next is postman tool so we know that uh, as part of api testing either we can use soap or rest right so as part of rest you can learn the postman tool uh, right now uh, postman tool has been used a lot by the companies also so next is finally we are into automation testing so even though you are a fresher or you, if you are an experienced too and if you are trying to switch a job automation testing somewhere you know plays an important role because being a manual tester you can just be limited with your boundaries when you say you have automation knowledge it is like you are uh, open to the new technologies okay so for that reason automation testing skill is also somewhere nowadays is getting mandatory so people feel like if, if you are uh, if you know automation testing then you are flexible enough to work on different types of automation as well at least one tool you must know okay so first understand what is automation why do we perform the automation then okay and next go with the programming languages like you can learn either java javascript python c sharp any of these languages you can learn but current market demand is uh, for java and python that too especially with selenium so selenium i would say to learn selenium itself because there are huge number of openings for selenium only and the other thing is that right now it is uh, you know market is having high demand for selenium and also the thing is with selenium you will be able to learn the other languages also with the help of one programming language and one strong base because we also have lot of documentation available so that is the reason selenium i would prefer okay and if you want to further advance after learning selenium or after learning this uh, languages everything if you are done with that so if you want to advance yourself with new skill at that time you can go ahead for then you can learn mobile automation using apm or else also you can go ahead for api automation testing as well so this is a clear cut roadmap for you know uh, software tester to get advanced and also if you are a beginner you can study all these hope you like this video if you have liked this video don't forget to like and share thank you for watching bye bye